really know if it's moisturizing. No, I think it is literally just a face sunscreen that is slightly tinted. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm bringing you the third update in my pan, those dinosaurs. Just a reminder that this project runs until the 8th of April 2022. It is a Pantastic Ladies collab and it was created by Taru, who I will have linked down below as well as everybody else who has joined in. I started this project working on eight items, but as you know, in December, I made the decision to declutter majority of my foundations. That meant that one of my items from this project was decluttered. If you're interested in seeing my December 2020 one declutter video i'll add that up in the cards and i would recommend going back and checking out my last update if you are interested in knowing more about the item and the dinosaur i chose to declutter and i'm actually doing something that is a little out of the ordinary for me in regards to project panning for this update as well I'm actually going to roll out an item and roll a new one in its place. I don't normally do that. I either continue on or completely roll out that whole um, prompt, but I have decided that I'm not going to get any usage on this item and instead of just dragging it along for the rest of this project until april 8th i figured i might as well roll it out and add something new in that i might actually get some usage on so let's discuss that item first we have the ankylosaurus this is something that protects you. And as you might remember, I originally brought in the Ozscreen Family SPF 50 Plus Sunscreen. And I have not used this item once. It is... I'm bad with sunscreen to start with. And even having this in a project has not encouraged me to use it more. This is a body sunscreen and I don't really like to go swimming. And I tend to wear clothes that do cover majority of my arms and legs, even when outside, which is very good sun safety. But I don't really use this and I tend to use more moisturizing sunscreen on my face and neck, etc. So I have made the decision to roll this item out. But like I said, I am rolling an item in in its place. So this is also for Ankylosaurus and it is also an item that protects you. And it is also a form of a sunscreen. So I'm rolling in this Banana Boat Simply Protect Sensitive Face Tinted SPF 50 Plus Moisturizing Sunscreen. Let me give you a sight, I guess, swatch of what it looks like. So this is it here. So it has a very, I guess, tinted, kind of foundation nishy look to it and I think I have this in my makeup inventory under a BB slash CC cream so I'll put my makeup inventory up in the cards for you if you are interested so this is the item I'm rolling in for the ankylosaurus Currently, I am up to here, and my goal is to use it up. However, I am under the impression that that is very unlikely to happen, considering we are in February and only have two months until the end of this project. But I would like to get as much usage as possible with the overall goal to use this item up. Now rolling on to the items that you're used to seeing in this project. Next we have the Dilophosaurus, which is something that is misunderstood. And I have got the Lip Cot Lip Seal and I haven't used it since my last update. 
As you might remember, I am having a little bit of trouble with it and I am not loving this product. But I would like to work on getting more use on it going forward. I do not think I will declutter this item, even if it continues to cause peeling or pe um, pelleting. What do they call it? Piling. You know, the little, little bumpy, gross bits that come off. I won't declutter it. But I do need to find a way that this is actually going to work for me. So this product will remain in this project. Next up, we have the Mosasaurus. And that is something monstrous. For that, I have been working on this Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. It is in Poet. I don't know why I have to read it every time. I should know it's in Poet by now. But it is in Poet. I do have a crazy, very stretch goal to use this a hundred times. And I have only used it twice more since our last update, which means I've only used it 10 times for this whole entire project. So somehow in two months that we have left of this project, to reach my goal, I will need to use this another 90 times. Let us be honest, that is not going to happen. But I am enjoying it when I do use it. It is slightly too light for me. Let me give you a swatch. So I don't tend to love using it all by itself. That's it right there. It's got a quite a pinky nude, but it kind of merges into my lip skin color makes me look like I've got concealer lips a little bit so I don't normally wear it just by itself but yes I do need to use it another 90 times in the next two months then for Triceratops we have something that plays well with others and I have been working on the Mario, Mario Badescu um, skincare facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. So last update we were all the way up to here and now we are down here and I have used it 16 additional times. My goal is to use it up and I do think it could be a possibility because over the last month I haven't worn makeup as many times as I could slash should. So I could possibly reach my goal for this project, but it will mean using this slightly more than I already am. If I don't complete the goal, I do think I'll be very, very close. For the Tyrannosaurus, we are working on something bold. And that has been this MAC Inten Lip Intensity Lipstick. And it is in the shade, and I'm checking it once again, um, Stallion. Why do I always have to check the shade names? I should remember. But it is in Stallion. And I, it is this beautiful black. Let me give you a swatch of it. It's not that you haven't seen it a hundred times probably by now. But I have not used this at all since my last update. This also had what at this point I'm considering a stretch goal because I wanted to use it 50 times. And at this moment I'm only on nine uses. So I doubt very much I will reach my stretch goal and I think going forward in projects, not just this one, that I might have to reevaluate my usage goals. I seem to be trying to give myself a usage goal that I feel is doable, but at the same time I'm giving myself goals that aren't actually reachable for the way that I utilize my makeup. <sighs> so these stretch goals are just as difficult at this point as having use up goals. So yes, going forward in my makeup usage goaling 
my panning process, I will need to reconsider my usage goals. But like I said, I'm only on nine uses with 41 uses to go before I reach my goal of 50. Then we have the Stegosaurus, and that is something slow going. I chose to roll in this Formula 10.0.6 Seaside Glow Skin Hydrating Pill Mask. And I will say it is definitely slow going because it's not going at all. I have not used this item even once since the last update, but I would like to see myself get more use out of this. So I'm actually going to give myself a personal goal to try and use this item at least once a week for the next two months. I don't think that that will mean I will manage to reach my project goal of using this item up, but I do think that it will mean I will actually get some use out of it. And last but not least, we have the Velociraptor, which is an item that surprised you. And for that, I rolled in the NYX Strictly Vinyl Lip Gloss, and this is in Bad Seed. This is also an item with a crazy large stretch goal of 50 uses, and so far I've only used it five times, which means I've used it once since our last update. I'm definitely not going to use this another 45 times before the finale of this project, but I would like to try and get at least another five uses out of it. And like I said, going forward on my panning journey, I will have to actually reassess my goal making and be slightly more realistic when it comes to some of these goals but I am a little bit like go big or go home. So those are the seven items that I'm currently working on in this project. Overall, I don't think there's anything I'm going to be majorly hitting goal on in the next update, but I would like to see some more consistent usage. With that, I'm Verity, this is the third update for my Pan Those Dinosaurs, and now, to the outro! Oops.